everybody, it's me, Lee Sackett, and I am here to go through a craft that's in your Advent kit with you. So you all remember the great tradition at Raleigh Court of having the gift making workshop at the beginning of Advent. Well, because of the pandemic, of course, we couldn't do that this year. But this craft that is of a baby Jesus ornament is in the spirit of the gift making workshop. And this craft reminds us that the God who created everything also came to be amongst us as a baby, who is love. Some of you have the word love with your kit for the baby Jesus ornament. And some of you have the word hope that is in your kit for the baby Jesus ornament. So now I'll take you through these steps. So you're gonna have a bag that has all your stuff in it. And I've taken all mine out and laid it out here in front of me. And it's also gonna have what I just showed you, your instructions. So that has the steps on it and you can follow them. You're gonna take your baby Jesus doll head and then you're gonna take your fuzzy wire and you're gonna string that into the head of your baby Jesus and curl the top of it round and make a little curly piece of hair on the top of the baby Jesus head. Now he has a super long body, but you want to make his body nice and plump like a little baby. So you're going to roll up your fuzzy wire. It doesn't have to be in a particular way, just to make it nice and round for the shape of the body. And then we're going to wrap our little baby Jesus up. You have a piece of blue felt that is in your um, kit. I'm going to put it down here because you're going to need a lot of glue to do this. Now, when I say a lot of glue, I mean a lot of glue. It's hard to, um, it's hard to make felt stick with glue because it's just so absorbent. So you can wrap the baby Jesus as best as you can. You might have to cut your felt, you know, whatever you need to do. And as you do so, you know, roll them up in this felt and use lots of glue. Now, boys and girls, I know your teacher and your art teacher tells you, don't use too much glue. But really with this, you need to use a lot of glue. You don't want your baby Jesus to fall out of his blanket. So I'm gonna add a little more at the top. And if I had scissors with me right now, I might trim the bottom here, but I don't, they're in the other room. So I'm going to just leave it as is, but feel free to trim yours. And then I'll lay my baby Jesus down there so that he can dry. And the next step is to make the hay that would be in the stable and in the manger. Once again, you're going to need a lot of glue for this because the little hay pieces will come undone. So I just put a, a whole bunch of Glue down here at the bottom of the black paper. Be sure it's the bottom of the hole for the string for the ornaments at the top. So you want the hay and the glue for the hay to be at the bottom. And then I just stick it in there. And that glue and press it down. Any loose pieces I can either wiggle their way into the glue or just pull them off and set them aside. That piece is fine like that. Now you're going to take your wooden word that will be love or hope. And it's best not to put the glue on the black paper for this. You want to put it on the back of the words. And you don't have to be quite as generous with the glue during this, but you still need a good bit of glue. And it's best to use Elmer's glue, some kind of white glue, not glue sticks. They don't do really well with this kind of stuff. And then... Put that down on top of the hay. It makes like a little cradle, a little manger for the baby Jesus. And you know, when you get glue on your hands, you can use a wet paper towel. Or, but I just do like this. And then it rolls up. And then I can keep working without worrying about glue on my hands. So now we're going to glue down the baby Jesus once again. You're going to need a lot of glue. I might put some on the black paper and then on the back of the belt. 
We do not want our baby Jesus falling out of the cradle. So we put a lot of glue, and you're gonna want that glue to dry really well before you hang your ornament on the tree for sure. So I'm gonna be careful and not lift it up to do this next part. So now you'll take your twine here and just put it through the hole at the top. And then tie it with your double knot so it doesn't come undone. And now you can use your white chalk to make the star of Bethlehem. That's above the baby Jesus. Whoops, I broke my chalk. There we go. Right. But there, that's working better. So there's the star of Bethlehem. And now you can make little stars all around it. And I put this on the directions for you parents. Um, you can use to, to um, make sure the chalk doesn't smear hairspray. Just spray a little bit of hairspray on the chalk and that will fix it in place so it doesn't smear. Like I said, I'm not going to look that up because it needs to dry really well. But there it is finished. And here is an example that's all finished up and dry. So I can take it and put it on my Christmas tree. So here we go. I'll find a good spot for it. Big ornaments down at the bottom, little ones on top, my dad taught me. <laughs> so there you go. There's your baby Jesus ornament. I hope you have fun with it. Bye.